All right, so if you feel like you're working around the clock in your construction business and you really don't feel like you're making the money you need to make or you're being as productive as you possibly can, this video is for you because I'm gonna go into detail about how you can become more productive. It's not just about putting in more work and more hours and then that equals more revenue in your pocket, more things getting accomplished. There's actually some hacks to this, so let's dive in. So getting more things done in a day actually does increase the amount of profit at the end of the month, at the end of the year that your business can provide for you. And over the course of the last decade or so, owning my eight-figure construction company, I've learned a lot of things about how to increase productivity, which in turn reduces your overhead, which can also add more top line revenue. And if those two things are combined, you make more net profit, more money at the end of the day. And that's the whole goal. So how do we do it? So the premise behind this video and productivity in general is not adding more things. It's actually more like taking things off of your to-do list and you can become even more streamlined. We want to get rid of slash automate as much as possible. You want to streamline as much as possible in your business so you can focus on the more core important things. Because if you're spending your time on all these little things, which I'll dive into in a second, that could be automated, that could be streamlined, or that could just be delegated out. That's a lot of what entrepreneurship is about, is delegating out. A lot of that you start with the small things and you move to the medium things and you can move and move to the big things. And then eventually you can even hire a COO and even a CEO if you really want to completely remove yourself from, from your company. But if you make a few key adjustments, you can actually have one or two people do what three or four people used to do in your company. And you do this by removing bottlenecks in your company because it's going to reduce the friction and things are going to flow seamlessly and smoothly. Your whole company is going to start operating. If you can get every department running seamlessly, boom, and just removing those bottlenecks, then that's how you can unlock the true wealth, the true freedom with owning a business or a construction business. So I've uncovered three main big everyday productivity killers. And number one is uncertainty. How many times have you had an employee come into your office and they're just like, hey boss, what do I do? Like, what do I do next? I don't know what to do. You know, how many of those quick questions have you got? Hey boss, I got a quick question for you. How many quick questions add up into a whole, if you take all those quick questions and add them up into the year's worth of quick questions, that's a lot of time that you're spending on these, these questions. Is it the fact that that employee wasn't given the proper training or doesn't have the proper resources to get those questions answered without you? Or maybe he was told once verbally, but then he forgot, there's nowhere to look it up. How do we handle that? So imagine being this employee, right? You run into this piece of your work, whatever it may be, and you get stuck. He gets stuck. And he kind of stops for a second. He's like, ah, I don't really want to bother the boss. So he tries to figure it out. He doesn't want to make the wrong move. But then he's like, ah, okay. So he pauses that and he works on something else. And then he, so he's switching tasks and, and, and he doesn't really want to bother you for this. He's trying to research it himself a little bit. And then he, and he comes back to this, this task and, and he tries to kind of start getting it done, but he's scared because he doesn't know for sure if it's the right way to do it or if he's going to get in trouble or mess something up. So then he comes, knocks on your door. Hey boss, got a question. Hey, you got time for a quick question? And this is actually interrupting your work as the business owner, right? And he spent all this time wasting time trying to figure this thing out. So this quick question consumed maybe 30 minutes of at least of wasted time when that could have been spent being productive. So the second productivity killer is repeated tasks. Think about how many times you've sent that onboarding email manually or that same outline in a document or estimated this project in a different way. There's so many different things that are repeated tasks in a business. Imagine automating these repeated tasks and you don't have to waste any more time doing these things by setting everything up to happen on autopilot. And the third one is there's no clear goals or set expectations. People work much better when they know what that specific clear goal is. Like we need to contact these many leads per week and we need to have 
this many estimates done per week or whatever it is. So without a clear direction, people are gonna be a little bit more procrastinating and idle and just kind of uncertain about where they're going. So there needs to be clarity about the goals and the expectations of their work. Okay, so I've laid out the problems, but how do we actually solve for all of these issues that are happening in your company? Well, the biggest, most easiest way to do this is just use technology. So we wanna write everything that happens inside of our company into SOPs or standard operating procedures. A lot of people start out with just like Google Docs in a Google Drive folder. And I even used to have this whole internal website that I built on Squarespace. We now, I now use Structure Software, Structure with no E.com if you wanna go ahead and create a, an account and get a free trial. Structure has been helping our company massively and a bunch of other construction companies to actually lay out all of their standard operating procedures by using this rich text tool. And you could put per department with sections and pages and all these different content types within the page, like checklists and scorecards to keep them accountable and flow charts to describe how a process works. It's really a beautiful tool. And we're actually also working on project management stuff to take over the whole industry, like take over Procore, Builder Trend, stuff like that. So all that stuff is coming on the pipeline soon. 2024 or 2025 so very exciting stuff but the whole point here is you want to write out create videos you can use that rich text tool and structure to embed your loom videos or screen recordings or gifs or just images with arrows like click here then click there then click here this is how you pull a permit this is how we estimate our jobs this is how you onboard a new employee this is how you onboard a new client. You know, there's everything needs to have a process within your company in order for it to be streamlined and successful. And then you won't get those knocks on your office. Who hey boss, what do I do? So at the end of the day, I really think that utilizing technology is the best way to streamline any company in the whole world, especially a construction company when there's people in the field, and there's people in the office and everyone needs to re relate and talk to each other and streamline things and communicate. And if you could eliminate all these bottlenecks and you can eliminate all these questions, even if you just get a structure account, use the rich text tool, write a couple processes out and build a couple checklists even. Very simple, just, hey, every time we go pull a permit, or every time we start up a new project, or every time we do our slab inspection, whatever it is, here's our checklist. And you, they have them check those things off. They submit the checklist, boom, you get a little notification if you want and it all goes into a log as well. You get an email if you would like, and it's just very streamlined to know exactly what's happening across your company. So the communication is there. So every you know everything that's happening inside your company. And that really is the biggest thing. It's a beautiful thing that we can utilize technology these, these days in this world. It's just a beautiful thing that people didn't have access to 50 or 100 years ago. Like the technology has grown so intensely and it has its good and its bad sides. You know, it's like a knife, social media, technology, all these things. You could make food, you can cut your vegetables, or you could go hurt people. It's how you use it, right? So technology, if you if used properly, it could be extremely beneficial to your life, to your world. Hopefully that makes sense. But I encourage you to use technology and use it to your advantage. So if you enjoyed this video, click like, check out jessielane.com if you want to grow your construction company. Join my coaching program. We'll take your business to the moon and give you the freedom that you deserve. And um, other than that, subscribe if you're not. And you can watch another video on my channel. See you in the next one. Peace.